What's up? I'm Simone. And I'm Sierra. And this is Up, up on Game. Game. So today we're going to talk about nutrition. Yep, I said it. We're going to talk about nutrition. And some of the topics we're going to talk about are the freshman 15, fueling throughout the day, hydration, and study table. Sierra, here's the question. So have you ever been through the freshman 15? Okay, so first we're going to start off by explaining what the freshman 15 is is in case people don't know what it is okay it's kind of like um something that um a lot of freshmen go through not just athletes but just freshmen in general coming into college um throughout their freshman year usually gain 15 pounds and it's called the freshman 15. um me personally i don't think i gained 15 pounds i think i lost 15 pounds my freshman year um yeah, and you gained a lot of muscle and you know was was working out a lot. So I don't I don't think I gained fifteen, but I think I lost fifteen. And a lot of people gain fifteen pounds because they're this is their first time on their own and you know, they have the freedom to eat whatever they want at any time they want, you know, and just different things like that. And some people get carried away. Like I know people who have, you know, experienced the freshman fifteen and and it's real. Um, so but just me personally, I didn't gain 15. I think I lost 15 pounds in mm -hmm. freshman year. I think I'm the complete opposite. I for sure gained. I It wasn't 15 pounds, but I for sure gained a little bit of weight because I was by myself. And, you know, like, I felt, I was like, ooh, I can eat whatever I want. And then I was, had that mindset where it's like, oh, I'm going to burn off and practice anyway. And then, like, that after that first semester, I was like, oh, yeah, okay, like, let me let me be a little more serious about it. And then like, it was just gone like that. It was just a quick little transition. It was like, my face just went from this and then back to normal. It yeah. wasn't a big And thing. just like we've been talking about in other episodes, it's all about, you know, when you go to college, you get that freedom and you have to be responsible in all aspects of it, as you can see, not just with your sport or with school, but also with your nutrition and, and how you eat and what time you eat. Yep. So the next topic is Save your money by eating in the dorm. So let's talk about that. Okay, so a lot of campuses they have a lot of ca they have cafes and dorms. There's some dorms that are open 24 hours. Some dorms that's open. I'm sorry, not dorms. Um, cafe or cafeteria that's open for like majority majority of the day. So it's very important to like know those hours. And so too, so if you're on the go, you could go grab a snack, go grab lunch is very important. Sometimes you might even have to grab an early dinner, just depending on your schedule with classes and practice. Yeah, and just from experience, um, um, at my school, uh, we had um, about a couple dorms on main campus that had cafeterias, and we had a, um, a car, an M car, I think that's what we called it, an M car, and it had like um, swipes on it. So you can go in and, and swipe and you 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 have access to all the food. And in a cafeteria, you also have to be responsible in there too. It's kind of like a buffet. You know, it, it's no limit on how many trays of food you can get. It's, they have all type of different foods. And, I, and some of our cafeterias, we had sections. We had like American food, um, Hispanic food, um, Asian food. We had different sections. Like Excuse me, not to cut you off. So explain to them about the swipe. So... So you so that one swipe means you can eat whatever you want, how yeah. many trays? So you swipe your card mm -hmm. and you go in the cafeteria and you can eat whatever is in the cafeteria, however many plates of food you want, however oh, wow. long you want to be in there, you can be I mean it closed at a certain time, but however long you want to be in there, you can be in there. Mm -hmm. And they had desserts. Everything it was like a buffet basically. So, you know, even with your swipes and even though you're saving money, you still have to be responsible, like we said, with what you eat because you can still gain weight and not be healthy at eating at the cafeteria, even though it's provided to you by the school mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, another thing we have is grocery shopping. Another thing we're going to talk about. Okay, I was a pretty good grocery shopper. So my thing is when you go to a school, Get an idea of what's around you. The first thing you need to look for is like, of course, your food places, banks, and a grocery store. And that's very important because the grocery store, 
if you just go and shop one good time, it could last you about four to six weeks, depending on what you get. So like when I was in school, like I looked for either a Costco or like a Sam's Club because we had cards for that and like you shop in bulk, shop in bulk, the less times you have to go to the grocery store for stuff, mm -hmm. which was really good and I saved a lot of money like that. And from personal experience, I didn't have to really go grocery shopping until my junior and senior year because um, at my school it was required for us to stay in the dorms our first two years. And that, me being older and going gro grocery shopping really benefited me because I was more responsible my junior and senior year of, you know, how to budget my money, how to go in the grocery store and not just get anything. Mm -hmm. A quick tip, don't go in the grocery store hungry because that's when you start buying everything. everything. Just That's just a little tip. But, you know, I... I was able to do it when I was older and I was, you know, knew how to budget my money, knew I couldn't spend too much money. So that's something that I think benefited me. Like, but I, I could have went grocery shopping in the dorms, but it wasn't like a thing because I didn't, I didn't do the, like the, the refrigerator and things like that in my dorm. It was just, you know, I just ate in the cafeteria, ate out or whatever um, my team provided us to eat. So. Just when you go to the grocery store, get the things that you absolutely need. You know, you don't want to get all junk food. You have to be smart. You have to think about, you know, the meals you're going to eat during the week. Some of us have long days, you know, as student athletes, and you know that you might not feel like cooking every day of the week. So just, just plan according to your schedule. You yes. know how you feel at the end of the day after you go to practice and study table and all that stuff. You know if you feel like cooking, you know if you have time to cook, and you know the different things that, you know, will, you know, will, will fill you up before you go to bed. And you right. also don't want to buy a lot of cookies, brownies, and things like that because this whole episode is about, you know, fueling your body in the right way. Right. Because as a student athlete, your body is, 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 is valuable, you know, because without, if you're injured or if you're sick, or if you're unable to perform in your sport, you're 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 no good to your team. You know, like not not necessarily no good, but physically you're no good. You can't go out there and help your team win and different things like that. So your body is very very important. So you right. have to take care of it, and it's all about what you put into your body and different things like that. And then speaking of feeling, like if you know you have like packed classes to the point where it's like you're not going to be able to stop and get nothing to eat or go back to your dorm or fix you something or go to the cafeteria you should snack like what i mean by snack is like packing things that'll fill you up until you have enough time to go get something to eat. so like for example i know i had like a pretty flexible class schedule so it was like times where i knew i was going to be on campus the whole day studying or whatever so I would pack like a lunch, like I'll pack like a sandwich. I'll probably pack like some chips, an apple, um, like a handful of like M and M's or like a trail mix or something, just so I could be fueled for the whole day. And by the time we had, I had practice. It was time to practice. I was already good. And then we had study table right after. So I, that was a dinner right there for me. Right. How did you? How did you feel? Because I know you had a super packed schedule. Well. We're just gonna go to our water break real quick and I'll talk about my, you know, my experience with, you know, having a packed day and, you know, finding some ways to eat. So we're gonna go into our water break and when we come back, I'll give you guys my experience. Oh yeah. Hey you guys, we are back for the water break. Um, Tia, explain the game for me. It's gonna be something a little different. Okay, so today's water break um, Simone and I have seven professional players in mind, okay? So, I'm going to say, give her seven names of different professional players, and she's going to tell me what university they attended, okay? Real easy, and then we're going to switch. She's going to have seven, and I'm going to try to guess what college they went to, went to, okay? So, this should be fun, you know, hopefully it's not a tie. Okay, we'll see who wins. You guys stay tuned. Don't miss out. Okay, I'm going to start. And I'm going to ask Simone 
about these seven professional athletes. Right, okay, man. number one, where did Damian Lillard go to college? Weber State. Weber State, okay. Where did Joel Embiid go to college? Whoa. I'm going to have to pass. University of Kansas. Mm. Where did Marcus Peters go to college? You dub. Correct. Where did Le'Veon Bell go to college? Michigan State. <laughs> Where did Jimmy Butler go to college? <laughs> I do not know. What? Marquette. Oh. <laughs> Where did Katie Smith, the WNBA? Katie Smith. Oh, my God. Um, give me a hint. <laughs> Ohio State. Where did Sylvia Fowles go to college? LSU. LSU. All right, now it's time for me to ask Sierra hers, okay? Her questions, all right? All right, Sierra, where did Jalen Ramsey go to college? Uh, I don't know. Florida State. Um, where did Elena Beard attend college? That's WBA people. Duke. Okay. Where did Dennis Smith Jr. attend college? Uh. Oh, I got her. North Carolina State. Okay, okay. What? On top of it. Okay. Um, where did me. where did Deshaun Watson go to college? Um, I know that Clemson. Okay. Ha. <laughs> okay. Um, where did Todd Gurley go to college? Oh, I don't know. Georgia. Um, where did Clay Matthews go to college? I don't know. USC. All right, Sierra, you may know this one. Where did Christy Tolliver attend college? Maryland. Okay. You got that. All right, you guys, that wraps up our water break. We're going to put the scores up here on the screen and see which one of us won. Okay, stay tuned. Make sure you guys, if you have any, su any suggestions for us, what you would like to see us play, let us know. Feel free, you know, drop them topics in the comments. Right. Okay, you guys, catch you guys next time. Now we're going to go into part two of today's episode. Hey guys, we're back and we left off on the last segment or the or part one talking about, you know, Simone's experience, you know, with a packed schedule and now we're going to just talk a little bit about my experience. So for me, um, especially I think it was my freshman and sophomore year, well all my years I had packed schedules. So when I say packed schedules, so I would have class, so let's say, let's for example my freshman year. 8.30 and all the way to, I believe, 1 o'clock. Okay, so it'll be like 8.30 to 10, 10 to whatever, and 1. So it's three classes back to back, okay? Oh, wow. And the only time I had in between those classes was literally 15 minutes to walk from one class to another class, or 10 minutes, however long it was. It wasn't enough time to actually really sit down and have a real lunch, okay? So... My freshman year, at the beginning of the year, I struggled a lot with, you know, finding time to eat. And I, some days I went, I would eat in the morning, um, and then I wouldn't eat until after practice. And how, how hard the practices were and, you know, all the things asked of you as a student athlete at this level, you know, it became hard to, you know, get through a, a, a day as a student athlete without fueling my body. So I, I was lucky enough to have nutritionists at my school um, and that worked with our program. And a nutritionist helped me, you know, to figure out ways to, you know, uh, maybe pack a lunch or figure out different places I can go, places like Jimmy John's, quick quick places I can go to pick up food, and, you know, so I can have something in my body. Mm -hmm. We also had at our um, facility, excuse me, at our facility, facility, oh, Lord, we had um, <laughs> like a, a a fueling station, so we had like um, energy bars, oatmeal. Um, what else did we have? Um, we have had Gatorade. like beef jerky. Yeah, Gatorades, protein shakes, uh, all type of stuff. So that was that also became helpful as well. But it was also helpful for me to actually eat too. So I felt 
after when I ate before practice, not like right right before practice, but I ate a, a good like an hour or an hour and a half before practice. I felt better in practice. I was more energized. I was able to be a better player, and that's at the end of the day, that's we want to be at our best. And you know, and if if eating a meal makes me better than I am without eating a meal, I I want to eat. You know what I mean? I want to be the best I can be. So that's just my experience. And as I got older, you know, I was able to figure out different ways to get food, you know, mm -hmm. and just figure it out. At in because because I I learned my school. I learned where the different stop spots I can go and different things like that. I just learned through experience a lot of things like we talked about before. Through experience yeah. helps. Um, let's talk about. I talked about it a little bit, but just eating before practice. Okay, so the best thing you could do is eat a hour before practice. The reason why I say an hour because you want your food to digest. And then plus two, if you want to eat before practice, you want to eat like a, a filling meal. Not to get you full, but to fill you up to, so you can have energy. So like for example, like you not if your practice at three, you're not going to sit down at no... 2:45 eating a full-on meal like no like the best time to probably do is like an hour before get you like a nice sandwich yeah. some chips and you usually want it to be like something on the the healthier side you don't want to eat like a mcdonald's before practice or like a steak or like you know not nothing anything too heavy like something like a sandwich and some chips or or some pasta yeah some pasta a salad Something that's going to sit well in your body, you know, during practice. You know how, for my current student athletes, you know how practices are. You know, like, you have to be okay. You don't want to be out there about to throw up at practice. Yeah. It's not some, a good look. And some good snacks, like, for fruit, oranges, bananas, apples. Because I know for sure those was my go-to. Yeah. Because it was something you could also eat, like, on the go when you're walking to and from class. Or sometimes, if you're in class, if you have like orange, you could just eat it real quick, yeah. put sneaking it in your bag, yeah. and you're, it's not a big distraction. It ain't like smelling up the whole class. It's yeah. something that you could just eat quietly yeah. and but still be full. It's very important, like we said before, to get you know your the your energy before mm -hmm. you go into practice because you don't want that's that's how people pass out. That's how like different things we, we we've talked about like. Like in this episode, how eating, being energized makes me a better player, but it also makes sure that I'm okay, like physically, mm -hmm. like my health. Like you don't want to be at practice and pass out or any anything like that. You yeah. know, it's not just about being a great player, but it's also about being healthy. Yeah. And eating before, you know, feeling yourself the correct way before practice, you know, will make sure that you're healthy and that you're a great player as well. Right. Um... Also talk about being hydrated. That's very important. Like hydration, that's like, it's like 50-50 with eating. Like if you eat in before practice, you also have to be just as hydrated. Like, you know, you athletes, you guys need to carry a water bottle with you at all times. Because if you're not hydrating yourself during the day, and then you only take one little eight ounce cup before practice, that's not going to work. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of a lot of times people sweat so much in practice, you gotta have, you know, right, that right. hydration to to balance it out, and that's something else I struggled with too. Like before going to college, I really wasn't strict on my nutrition. I I worked out a lot. I, I you know worked hard on my craft, but eating wise, I wasn't like on any type of diet or anything. So when I got to college, I wasn't used to. Being at school, I, I, in high school, I didn't carry around a water bottle and drink drink water all day. I did not do that in high school. So at college, it was something that was brand new for me, but it ended up helping me. My my trainer, she gave us all water bottles and they had a name on it. And it was like, you know, the Gatorade bottles and on the side, you can see how much a person drank. Mm -hmm. So she was like, you have to be done with this by the time you see me before practice. So that's what how she made us and made sure that we were hydrated. And I really appreciate that from her because it, you know, it helped us. For me, um, I wasn't a big diet person. I didn't, I feel like I didn't really start focusing on my diet until like I got injured because I knew I was sitting down, but I always had water with me. Like that was one thing for sure. Like I've always had water and 
by the time I've been through two classes and I'm about to walk in the training room, I already drank like two bottles yeah. of water. So it's, it's very important to take care of your body. You take care of your body, your body's gonna take care of you. Yeah. You put the right things into your body, you'll be able to, you know, perform at, at your, your highest legs. ability. And, you know, and also be healthy. Also get through practice and not feel lightheaded or have a headache or feel like dizzy and stuff. Different things like that is, is very important. And the last thing we're going to talk about are just meals are provided by your athletic program. So, mm -hmm. for example, uh, my senior year, they provided us with, um, that's when the they started providing us with more meals. So in the morning, um, I can't remember what it was called. But in the morning, we could go to this area and they would have um, breakfast sandwiches for us. This is all like free for student athletes. Breakfast sandwiches, granola bars, orange juice, cranberry juice, oatmeal, cereal. You could get that in the morning and it closed at a certain time. And this was not the cafeteria. This was somewhere like student athletes were able to go. And then lunch, you kind of like on your own for lunch. But then um, uh, for dinner, um, so after practice, you were fed like something provided by the team. And it was always healthy, like pastas, and it was like some type of protein and rice, something very, very healthy, salad. And it was and also a time for you to sit down and bond with your team as well. Yeah, we had study table as well. Like it depend on like the semester. So like during our preseason, they fed us during like the lunch time because we practice in the early evening. And then like when season started, we had like dinner yeah and then they also fed us before we traveled too so which was good yeah and, on the road yeah and you knew when you had to be on your own so that really helped out a lot yeah so if you need help you know reach out to the the your support system at your college because you know they're there they're they are there to help you i can't talk today but you know make sure you reach out make sure you eat healthy feel your bodies so you can be the best that you can be okay you guys and just put y'all up on game. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Comment, See you guys next like, time. share, do it all. All right. See you.